And now part two of my high boy Titan review. In part one, we looked at more of the urban scenario here in part two, getting this out into some good hard use out on the trails. Now, the first thing I'm gonna say, the High Boy Titan is not what I'm gonna consider an all mountain scooter. Unfortunately, it just falls a little bit shy of what I would say would be technically all mountain. This can handle quite a bit. I found that for the most part, this really did a great job with a lot of different types of off-road terrain. So from general rocks and roots, not a big deal. Plenty of bumps, no problem at all. Between having the knobby tires and the pneumatic tires, I felt as though they did a fairly good job overall. On top of that, having rear suspension definitely helps out. However, the lack of front suspension did leave it just a little bit lacking when it comes to the off-road capabilities. Now, unfortunately, for some foolish reason, I forgot to put the actual image stabilization on my camera. So it's gonna be a little bumpy, it's gonna be a little choppy, but the good thing there is you can see kind of what I went through and what the scooter went through in this terrain. Now, for the most part, handling single tracks like a Champ, this is a little wider here, but you can see definitely a defined trail down the middle. It's a little bit worn down, has some occasional rocks and roots, but for the most part, going almost full throttle here, the High Boy Titan handled this particular type of trail with ease. Now you can see as I continue to go through this, the terrain does change and I try to give it a really hard test. I didn't necessarily abuse the High Boy Titan, but what I can tell you is I gave it the exact same test that I would give my mountain bike. I wanna know what is the clearance like? I wanna know what kind of terrain can this handle? And getting some more aggressive rocks and roots and bumps definitely gave this a challenge. Now you can see certain areas where clearance is gonna be a bit of a problem, but the good news is not a big deal with the High Boy Titan. It's not crazy heavy. In the mid 50 range for weight, it's not incredibly heavy and you can definitely lift this up. Now again, herky jerky footage, but you can see this is a small, tight, defined trail and I'm going through this easily, picking up speed and really getting some pretty good speed down and through these trails. I did not ever feel as though I was out of control. Was it a little bumpy? Yeah. Was it yanking at my bars a little bit? Yeah, a tiny bit, but not a big deal. And again, coming across some impediments in the trail, you can see this will definitely bottom out in many cases. The pneumatic tires being 10 inches tall doesn't give you a ton of clearance, even with the exaggerated deck height. But overall, you can definitely get away with quite a bit on the High Boy Titan. Now, one thing to consider when you're going through things like brush or grasses, or in this case, some ferns, you definitely need to be a little bit careful with the disc brakes. If you've ever been on mountain bikes with disc brakes, you'll know that from time to time, you can get some debris caught in them. That's definitely the case here with the High Boy. And you can see, I got a little tag along, some ferns just coming for the ride, and they definitely got into my brakes. Now, you need to be a little bit careful. Like I said, stop from time to time and clear everything out so you don't create any mechanical damage or impede your ability to stop but for the most part this high boy is rugged it can take a ton of abuse the frame is nice and stout it can handle a little bit of water not a ton but enough that you can make it through some puddles you can make it through some damp areas and you're not gonna have any problems and again the overall construction nice and stout and firm and you can see going through some substantial rocks and roots now as i continue to go through this trail some different areas of different types of terrain and increasingly more difficult unfortunately i did suffer some damage i had some areas where i hit really hard and even in the rear where you have some rear suspension I did cause some damage and as you look here this trail even though it's a little bit wider had some very substantial rocks had some very substantial roots and I just hit hard if this was more built out with front suspension I think it really would have done a better job handling some of the really aggressive rocks but at the same time you could do it but you can see after all this hard use unfortunately just a little bit of damage. I did sort of taco my rim a little bit. That has me a bit concerned. It's a little bit disappointing, but at the same time, 
I also find that so far, it hasn't really impacted my ability to ride. So a little disappointing, and I don't really know if there's any way to fix it. I would say probably not. So generally speaking, I'm probably stuck with this. But a couple last hard, hard rides. You can see here, getting through this tight little single track, after a while, this does get extremely rocky. Not major boulders, but it's the loose stuff you come across. It's the sort of baseball and softball sized rocks that can really give you some trouble. And you'll see as I get through this, I definitely found them. But at the same time, moving quickly, making my way through these trails, no problem, really, really handling very well overall. And the High Boy Titan just doing a nice job. So I greatly encourage the people at High Boy, I greatly encourage them to make an all mountain version, build a version of the Titan, just fully ruggedized. And after all that use, you can see here, just continuing to use this in the urban environment, still smooth, no problem, no worries, no permanent damage. The High Boy Titan is really tough. I mean, it has taken a licking and it keeps on ticking, not a big deal. So even with a little bit of damage from the off-road, not a huge deal, this is still plenty fine. The High Boy Titan is an absolute highlight. I love it. I love it for the urban environment. It is really, really great. So the High Boy Titan, in summary, a fantastic scooter. So if you're somebody that wants a slightly more rugged scooter, out in the urban environment, maybe you're jumping curbs, maybe you just wanna handle the potholes you come across, maybe the roads aren't in the best condition, no problem, bopping over sidewalks, making it over impediments, the High Boy Titan is going to be a fantastic choice. I know a lot of other reviewers have talked about a weird bar angle, and they've also talked about the weird deck height. I do not personally find that to be a problem at all. Now, granted, I have very limited scooter time. I have said it before, I am not a scooter guy. I am not. I'm just an avid outdoor enthusiast who grew up on mountain bikes and I grew up on motorcycles. But I have the general skills and I know how to ride. And getting on this High Boy Titan, I actually find the geometry to be advantageous. The bar angle allows you to have actually pretty good moment when you pull back on those bars, a nice amount of leverage and the ability to crank some wheelies. And the other thing with the High Boy Titan, which is my favorite part about this, the ability to transition between different types of terrain. So from pavement, then onto the dirt, ripping through the trails, making it to the tight areas, the ability to get around and explore look at different areas and maybe get to some places that you haven't otherwise been to that is the benefit of the high boy titan so all in all you can see making it through these tight areas handling just fine i mean even here going almost full throttle very rocky very rooty a good amount of just debris in the way but handling just fine I do not find any issues with the High Boy Titan, and quite frankly, if it wasn't for that slight flat spot I worked into my rear tire, there would be absolutely no damage at all. So overall, can I recommend the High Boy Titan? Absolutely. Are there better options out there? To be honest with you, I don't know. I'm not the guy to answer that question. But what I can tell you is if you're looking for a well feature reasonably affordable and just fun and exciting scooter my opinion is the high boy titan is going to do that for you so other than that some just basic little funny nuancey things i found my little kick plate after a while just kind of came undone it was a real easy repair i just got rid of the factory glue i replaced that with some super glue and at that point it worked perfectly no problem and some other things that were really really cool about the titan it had some beautiful flat spots that allowed me to mount some camera mounts with ease so different things that you can do just a little bit of a bonus the fact that the underside of the deck is flat it actually worked out extremely well to put my GoPro mounts. And if you're somebody that likes to film, that's just gonna be a little bit of a bonus for you. And the only other thing that was a little bit of a downfall, not being able to remove the batteries to charge this. So you're probably gonna need to charge this in your garage or bring it down to your basement for the winter.
And the last thing, a little vulnerability. Unfortunately, I found out that the kickstand is a little bit weak. It does tend to fall over if you're not careful. So I do urge the people at High Boy to address that. You can see a little bit of a rash on the end of my handlebars, but overall, not a big deal. The High Boy Titan is definitely awesome. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the High Boy Titan all-terrain scooter. All in all, what do I think of this? Well, first and foremost, this thing is absolutely awesome. I really do love it for many, many reasons. The main thing being, I'm not worried about where I'm gonna park my car. I'm not worried about those funny little tight areas. I'm able to get around easily, effectively, and what I'm gonna say, all-terrain. This really is pretty much an all-terrain scooter. Now I've watched a ton of reviews and everybody has different sort of thought process on this particular scooter. I do have to say again this falls somewhere between fantastic and phenomenal. I don't know if coming into this my expectations weren't very high or really kind of where I stand again. I am not a scooter guy, but I'm an outdoor enthusiast. I grew up on mountain bikes. I grew up on motorcycles. You hear us? Yeah, you. The frogs are yelling at me. That's a perfect example of getting out here, enjoying my time out in this awesome environment, just enjoying nature. And I have this scooter that can get me around to these areas quickly, easily, and effectively. Again, like I'm not worried about where am I gonna park my car. I just get on my scooter, I zip around, and I get here in a matter of minutes. This is awesome. So who is this for? In my opinion, anybody who lives in a, I would call this really like a rural or like suburban environment. Maybe you have a nice town, it's a beach environment. If you're somebody with a cottage or a camp, this would be amazing. The ability to span between on-road, off-road, and I'm not gonna say all mountain. This falls short of being an all mountain scooter. However, I do greatly encourage the people at High Boy to make a strict like heavy duty all mountain scooter that just rips off road. That would be amazing. I would love it. I would love to take a hardcore approach to all mountain scooter riding. I think it would be phenomenal. But all in all, this can handle a lot. So again, you saw all my footage from on road, no problem, jumping curbs, jumping, you know, reasonable, sort of more technical aspects than your typical rider getting off road single trails no problem anything with rocks and roots for the most part not too big of a deal it is a little limited where it's only got that rear suspension and it's not a huge amount of travel so it does tend to hit a little bit hard but it can do it that's the thing with good riding technique and just kind of hanging on and pushing this thing a little bit to its limits, it will go. I don't see any damage whatsoever. It seemed to handle everything perfectly appropriately. So from that standpoint, this was awesome. And furthermore, the battery life seems to actually be improving the more I use this. From the first ride till now, it actually seems like I'm getting more distance and more mileage. So I kind of think this just really needed to get some good use and wear the battery down and then charge it back up. And at this point, it seems to be doing a fantastic job. So reasonable, mileage a good amount of time you know both out on the streets and out on the trails I've been exploring at length and I find I just want to get out here literally every single day so again to the people at high boy I would like to say thank you very much and for the rest of you if you like this content do me a favor take a look at my outer limitless 2 channel which is more on the tactical and firearm side of things at this point that channel is growing quickly so if you like what you see here on outer limitless do me a favor and check me out on outer limitless 2 so, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.